That'll do. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel on a beautiful bank holiday Monday here in Lincolnshire. It wouldn't be a bank holiday if we weren't at Dad's house working on some of the fleet. I'm here today with this then. It is my 2000 Audi A4 B5 in this rather dirty at the moment Jasper Green. It's actually been with me in the collection for quite some time now. I bought the car in 2015 and it's a funny story. I met Mrs. John Coupland around that time and I was still driving my K11 Micra, the red one, my very first car. And if you've watched one of the latest videos, you'll know that we're planning to get that out of the garage this summer. However, when I met Mrs. John Coupland, she was impressed by what she saw apart from the Micra, uh, which she said, I love everything about you, just not your car. So me being the 21 year old me who wanted to go and impress, went out and bought this, which uh, at the time was the best car I'd ever owned, uh, Audi A4. And I thought I was the bee's knees. Anyway, it was my daily driver right up until about 2019 when I bought the purple smart car and this was retired. I'm the second owner of the car. It, it's a local car. It was bought local here at Boston Audi. And actually my MOT tester has looked after it most of its life. When I bought it, 30,000 miles on the clock. And because I dailyed it up until 2019, I put quite a few miles on it, 81,000 miles on the car now. It's big, been really well looked after. And the last time I drove it, because I sort of retired it, was 2022. I took it up to Scotland uh, to pick my friend up who landed in Edinburgh for our stag week. We had a, a 500 mile journey there and back and then 1500 miles round Scotland. I parked it up on the 1st of October 2022 and that is where it has stood it hasn't been out and about since which is a travesty i know and i know lots of you will be shouting at your screen saying well you've got too many cars john to keep on top of that is true but this is something i want to keep in the collection it's been off the road then out of mot for around about a year we've trailered it round to dad's house so far everything looks okay but i have decided that i'm going to get it mot'd and back on the road this month I've booked an MOT for next Monday with Neil at Kings of Stickney. So we need to make sure it's okay. Neil is confident that it's gonna be okay. I've said to Neil, hey Neil, I'm gonna book it in. And he said, it'll be fine, it'll be okay. I'm not as confident as him, so I've brought it to Dad. Dad's gonna give it the once over. Hopefully there's nothing we need to do other than the usual stuff. Maybe clean the brakes and pads off and charge the battery up. But fingers crossed, it's gonna be an easy, day working on the A4. In this video then, we'll have a chat with Dad, a few MOT checks, see what he finds after it's been off the road for a couple of years. Hopefully it doesn't cost me lots of money. Hello, good morning. Ow. <laughs> I've brought you uh, my rusty green German car. Scrap it. <laughs> um, we're gonna have a look at this today after you've uh, got sorted. I'm going to the bins. Sorry about that. Bins. Let's get it fixed. So this is my Audi A4. It's been off the road a couple of years. You don't like, well, do you like this car? It is what it is, isn't it? It's a bit of an old badge, isn't it? We've not done too much to this car in my ownership. A couple of rear springs in its life and that's about it, isn't it? Well, if it was an estate car, it'd be more useful, wouldn't it? It would, it would. It isn't... There's Overly. one running around town. Sorry? There's one like this running around town, but it's in the state. Yeah, in the Jasper Green. Mm. Um, been off the road a couple of years then. The battery mm. is flat, so one of the first jobs I'm guessing is to get the battery out and on charge. Um, what are we going to do? MOT prep, make sure it's okay? Yeah. What are you expecting to see? Seized up brakes, holes in the floor, <laughs> broken springs. No, I'm expecting to see seized up brakes, son. Yep. Confident? You know me, mate, I'm not very committal. Okay, well, let's get it sorted. I'm guessing the first port of call is get it into a position where we can work on it. Yeah. Um, get the battery off, right? Get that on charge and check it out. Oh, let's have a look under the bonnet quick. Yeah. 1.6 petrol lump. Uh, I've taken that cover off the battery cover. It's been stood outside the garage. It has been stood outside 
uh, for a couple of years. It's a little bit of an oil leak there, or a little bit oily there, I need to clean that off, but coolant level looks fine. Washer bottle probably needs topping up. Oil we'll have a look at. First impressions? Vorsprung Dork Technik. Bangers and mash. Shall we check the lights? Yes, let's check the lights. Let's check the bit. lights. Right. Side. Indicate left. Indicate right. Don't walk in front of me camera. <laughs> Indicate right, it. Dip and main. Yeah, check the fog lights while you're there. Just as a matter of academic. Right, pip the outer. Hang on, they're not staying on. <laughs> pip the outer grommet. That'll do. Side lights. All right, brake. Yeah, indicate right at the same time with the brake on. Yeah, and left. Yeah, go on, fog lights. Yeah, just as a matter of academic, let's check the uh, reverse while we're here. I know it's not part of the MOT in a vehicle this old. Yeah, that'll do. Just try the hazards, dude. Right. Leave the old gel running. Just make sure we've got a warning inside for the old hazard lights. I can't switch it off because it won't start again, will it? Not without the battery being jumped off at the moment. Right, let's just have a quick look in here then, mate. Seat mounts, seat adjusting. Oh yeah, that's a good question. I've not done, done that for a while. Right then, let's have a look at the old seat and mount. What is it you're testing inside? Talk us through what you're doing. Warning for the hazard warning lights. I'm checking the steering wheel column, all the bushes. I'm checking the seat, slides up and down. Looking at the brake pedals, checking the warning lights, see what we've got. Making sure the handbrake lever's not falling off. we are having a look at these mouldy seat belts. Have they gone mouldy? Yeah, just a bit. Oh dear. That one is a bit slow. That might need some of your GT1 million and hundred interior stuff. In fact, stuff. it's more than a bit slow. It's almost... Yeah. Well, let's have a, let's have a look at we'll that. We'll have a look at that. Yeah. It's not very good, that one, isn't it, son? I'm just going to have a look around there, make sure there's no rotten while I'm walking around. Ah, not standard. Take these off. Not standard. What's that? The Audi <laughs> rings, are you, and you've, you've made them less level now. <laughs> and you've messed me rear seat belt up. Ah, how's that open? We have to have the car unlocked. Oh, it's open. So you're checking the, is that the fuel cap rubber you're checking there? Yes, mate. All okay? Yes, mate. Does this open? Probably not while the car's running, no. Oh yeah, it does. What's in the boot? I've not looked in there. Aerodynamic, the aerodynamic number plate. And the number plate lights work. No, the boot, there's nothing in the boot. I've not left any cash in there then. Some mats. Some what? Some rubber mats. What's in here, son? Toolbox, I'm assuming. There's a wheel. There's a full-sized alloy in there. Yeah, there is. I'm just looking at this tyre, I'm Let's intrigued. It's probably the original tyre. I bet it is. I'm trying to see the date code, but I can't see it. It's definitely never been on the car. It blooming well hasn't. Right then. Just making sure that seat back's all right. Yeah. Oh, the wipers okay? Yeah, making sure the screen's not cracked. Oh, 
me light. You've got your light in there, what are you looking for? I'm looking for leaks on the power steering. Yeah. Looking for fuel leaks. Looking for corrosion. Looking for brake pipe problems. And so far? You just stick your foot on the brake, please, mate. Yeah. Here we go. Radio, just give the steering a rock. That'll do. Leave them running for a second. And we'll put it on charge then. Yeah. From the driver's seat to do that, I'm going to stand here and do it. To now, seat belt needs doing. That other side? Yeah, we'll just do that seat belt now while we're at it. But so <coughs> far on your initial walk around inspection, looking good? Yes, mate. I, I must admit, I'm a poor custodian of batteries. And I'll be the first to admit that I don't keep them on the charge as much as I should. I do have those multiple smart car battery chargers. Um, this battery actually wasn't that old um, when I didn't put it on charge. Do you think it's probably going to be no good or do you think we can probably resurrect it? I'm not optimistic. Do they need to be run? They need to be looked after. Yeah. And if they get too flat, they get beyond repair. She's taking charge though, so we'll see. Can't do any more than that. Let's look at this jolly old seat belt. So that seat belt needs addressing, you've said. Mm. Um, just cleaning it off there. What are you going to do? Just spray some we'll lubricant on it? Try some of this uh, super duper jollop on it. So that's what is that stuff there? It's called Tune Up Interior Spray or something. Aha! Inflation! 30 PSI all the way around, make sure the tyres are topped up. I'm going to get the spare wheel out and we'll make sure that's chopped up as well. Amazingly, they're, not they're okay. Not far out. Yeah. Amazing. All I'm right. Shocked. I'm huh? shocked. Shocked. Well, yeah, you'd expect them to have gone down, wouldn't you? So the spare's out, what would you suggest blowing a spare tyre up to? I almost put a little bit extra in, but then again. That's relatively flat, that yeah, one, Yeah, it's not being checked lately, has it? There is a brand new alloy on the back there, which is handy to know. Although, the alloys on the car are quite good. What have you blown that one up to? 36. Fair enough. You need a bit extra. I'll go stick this back in the boot then. Whilst I've got the uh, spare wheel out, I'm just gonna hoover those bits of debris out. There's a bit of plastic from cassette tapes and there's a few uh, little leaves, but no major rust or rot holes in there, which is always good news. And back in goes the spare. Oh, what are you doing now? Putting some water in the washer bottle. John. Ah, does it need filling up? Don't know, mate. Soon find out. That looks relatively full to me. It wasn't too far out. It is near. G12. Seat belt. You've not got that fixed yet. So you're spraying that stuff on, that tune up spray. Yeah. I'm guessing the theory is it lubricates the seat it's, belt. I, I believe so, yeah. That's what they showed us when the bloke was coming to sell us it. That seems to have done the job. It does, doesn't it? I've got a little bit of wipe off. Does it make it greasy or? No, it's not. It's about the same as squirting silicon on, but it's not silicony. That'll do me, Gromit. Right, so checking the oil. Oh. How's the oil looking? It's about halfway, mate. Okay, so I might need to top the oil up. Yeah. Coolant looking okay? Yes, mate. Yeah. Power steering fluid? Yes, it's fine. Brake fluid? Yes, it's fine. Excellent. Yes, the oil's a bit halfway. Okay. I think the oil... Put some oil in, eh? It wants a bit of oil in it, son, doesn't it? Can jolly well take them caps off. The wheels are coming off, are they? Oh, yeah. I better find my cap removal tool. It's time to take the wheel centre caps off. This is the tool, and as you can see, I've protected the end with some uh, electrical tape. That's to stop it from scratching them. So, top tip there. Aha! Locking wheel nuts. What are we going to find? Crack the wheel nuts off while it's on the deck. 
Now, one of the things that really lets the car down is the center caps. I have replaced them in my ownership. It was 80 pounds for a set from Audi about 10 years ago. They're now 90 pounds plus VAT each, which is why I haven't replaced them. That's a lot of money, isn't it? It's a lot, a lot of money. So the wheels have been cracked off and loosened. Before we jack it up, I'm guessing you're just making sure it's not well, totally posh looking. rotten. I'm just looking because I see this jacking point's been crunched in its life and I don't want to be responsible for crunching it anymore. Oh, I've, just, I've just had a look at that crunch. It does look like it's been like it a very, very long time. Um, so we're gonna look at the back first, I'm assuming. So you're being careful, what have you done? Put some wood under there. Yeah. Just to make well, sure. I don't want to crunch that jacking point any more than it's already crunched. Go on then, how's it looking? Well, it's... It wasn't seized, was it? It's fighting the way through the ruddy cobwebs. Huh. Give her a spin. So, it's free. Yeah. But we're still going to take the wheel off. Jolly well am, my friend. Why? Because of... Well, have a good, give it a good looking at. The oh, tyre seems all right. Yes, mate. Yes, it's uh, it's date codes are in hieroglyphics, so it's fairly old. Hmm. Looks like we need to get some tetra seal in here. My new favourite thing. Mm. Don't forget to put your axle stands in. Really important. I still have to have a light moment. True with his barn finds, you have to wear a brush for the cobwebs. Barn find? <laughs> Not even been in a barn, mate. Now you've fought through themed cobwebs. Yeah. How's it looking? It's all right, mate, isn't it? I was collecting those. They were theming. It's just so I can see what I'm doing. This is the new caliper, isn't it? That's uh, I, believe, I believe we've got a new caliper yeah, on there, it yeah. Is, mate, yeah. It is, my friend. It's had a new spring on there as well. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, shout out to the team at UK Barn Finds who have uh, been fishing some bits out recently. We're doing Lincolnshire garage... Garden finds. <laughs> Lincolnshire garden finds. Which is sometimes what happens when Mrs. John Cooton comes home and goes, what's that in the garden? And I have to say, oh, it's, it's been here quite a while. It's just, we've moved stuff around. <laughs> I don't think I can keep getting away with that line. What you got there? Brake pipe protector. It's been done all its life, so. So that's just a bit of white grease you've popped on there. Yeah. And you say it's been done all its life. It looks like it, they've been greased regularly, haven't they? So there's a bit of rust on that disc there. Are you happy that that's okay though? Yes, mate. No, necess no necessity to give it a good old clean off? As soon as it's a bank holiday Monday and I'm not bored, no. Right, well that one goes back on then. Good. Was well, is that the, that's the sills, is it? Yeah, and the inner sills and the floor pan here. And it sounds okay. It looks okay. Good. We're just checking that again while we're there because actually I just asked. So yeah. not excellent. Not excellent, but good. not rotten. Oh, it's a long way off rotten. Good. I think it's like I say. I'll class it as good. Now, the worst thing they ever did to these was put them stupid trims on the bottom. Yeah, the, what, the bottom of the door trims? Yeah. The Just tell us about them, because you've had some experience repairing those. Well, the clips all rot off, don't they? So they're plastic... And they chafe, and then they set the door off. So they're plastic-covered trim with metal pieces mm. in. Naturally, you can see the metal inside has started to deteriorate, and you can feel how lumpy it mm. is. Um, there are repair kits for these, and there are pieces you can buy. What did you have to do to the last one? I stuck it back to the metal bit, didn't I? Yeah. Would you want to be doing that with this one? Uh, no. No. Um, the, 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 the possibility is, or the probability is, you start taking them off and you're going to pull the paint off the door off, aren't you? Yeah, it chafes, doesn't it? Yeah. 
I, I must admit, it's I took the this. It's the worst thing they ever did with these, was that. The door trim. It lets them all down. It does, it? it does, and it lets this one down as well. I took the car to Audi when I first bought it to get those wheel trims, and the first thing the man at Audi said, the service manager said is, oh, your door trims aren't, aren't all rotten yet, but they'll go, and he was right, you know. They are, they are failing. You can buy repair kits from Poland and places like that for a hundred and something quid, but we're not going to be doing that. It's honest, honest car. Vorsprung thing they ever did. Anyway, let's do this side. I don't think it was the best idea they ever had. They're going to work the brake for me, son, please. Yeah. How's that side looking? Hopefully as good as this side. Vorsprung dog technique. Axle stands are going in, by the way, so uh, make sure you get them in. But we can't put them in until we've got that wheel off. How's that wheel looking? I don't know. I'm looking at that. I'm putting the axle stand in. So what we're going to do is we'll just do the sensible stuff first. Check the tyre first. How's that looking? Loads of tread on that. It's, it's rubbery. Good. Should be. That's had a new tyre and a new uh, refurbished alloy in its life. Because it had a new tyre put on by a local garage and, well, they messed the alloy up. So they paid to have it refurbished. So you're checking the spring at the moment? Yes, sir. I am. I'm just checking the spring once I can see past the cobwebs. Well, it has been replaced, that spring. Has it? We replaced it. We replaced both of them on the back. When I say we, I mean you. The Royal We. More white grease going on. This must be the largest wheel arch in the collection. You can actually get your head in there. It's certainly not, not like working on a smart car. Right, so I've uh, taken some production paper and a wire brush and cleaned this disc and uh, hub off. How's that looking, all right? You made a good job on it, mate. Um, why did we do that, just to... Just to make it, well, it's got a lot of rust on it. It saves it all going on your wheel, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So that's, uh, that's done that job. You're uh, in there with some white yeah, grease as well. I what just, are you greasing up? I just see those... Um, can't think of the word for it. Stuff. Fixings for the heat shield are getting fairly corroded. They really need some bigger washers putting on, really. But right, so that wheel's going to go back on, and then we'll uh, move to the front. Put the jolly old wheel on, me old matey load. So far, then, no nasties. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, mate. Right, let's do the front. I miss the old days. Which good old days? When you could stick a jack under the front or the back and lift both sides up at once. We never had a look at this sill, did we? Let's have a look while I'm here. Let's have a look at this sill. Joking apart, mate, it's... It is. It's, it's good, mate. It really is. Well, that's good news. It is, mate, isn't it? Rover 75. It is better than a Rover 75, you're right. And actually, it is the same age, isn't it? Same year. Much better. Oh, there's all this stuff. Stuff? Yes, yeah, it's fully old suspension on here. No, there's no nasties. Go on then, take her off. Let's have a look. Oh. Well, there we go. I'm shocked. Because that isn't bad at all. Let's have a look at the wheel. What's that looking like? Okay. It's rubbery. <laughs> like a snake. It's rubbery. Go out. I'm, I'm having a look. I'm having a look at the cobwebs. I'm allowed to have a look till I've had a look. Axle stands, make sure they're in. 
Ah, oh, no, me precious spider webs. I'm going to do that so I can see what I'm doing. There's a relatively new looking boot on there. Yeah. Oh, it's one of them, is it? I really ought to be stripping these and easing them, didn't I? Yeah. How's she looking? All right, son. All right, mate. Let's have a look up in there as well. Ah, oh, it has got a funny old suspension. Can you explain this suspension oh, to I us? I ain't got a clue, mate. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. It's got all sorts of arms and bars yeah. and bushes and springs and... I'm sure some very clever people out there will be able to explain it to us. So if you understand the suspension system on the Audi A4 B5 that we've got here, let us know in the comments below. Maybe you can explain it a bit better to us. Oh, I think somebody says, how can we make the suspension look really complicated? Put lots of stuff on no, it. Lots of bits. Lots of bits. I'm just, in a minute, I'm just checking the boots and I'm just going to then go get a crowbar and have a scrat around. Poor old thing. She's all right. She's filthy, but she's all right. That silver one isn't all rusty like this under here, bizarrely enough. Which is unusual because it's lived all its life. Yes. <laughs> in the In the seaside. Just goes to show that Lincolnshire squad is fairly corrosive. Squad? Tell you what is corrosive. Can I me and you, well, I went to you to fetch some railway sleepers from that cow place. Yeah. Cow poo's very corrosive. Is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, what, what makes you say that? Because when I took my Peugeot to bits, where it had splattered under the wheel arches, on the suspension and what have you, it had all corroded. There you go. Um, for those of people that aren't watching in Lincolnshire, just uh, give us the dialect definition of squad please mud mud muck dirt squad that could be we could do a new feature for pistons a podcast lincolnshire word of the week <laughs> oh, <fucking laughs> more white grease please yeah, it's been done in its life so it likes this it makes it happy <laughs> joking apart the brake pipes are quite good really We've never replaced them, have we? No, but it's been, as you said, that done to it all its life. It's been serviced by old fashioned mechanics who. <laughs> do stuff like that. I'm going to stick my foot on the brake while you test it. Yeah, I'm just looking, see what's going Ready? on. Ready? On, off, on, off. Don't wrong with that bugger. Handbrake? No. <laughs> Silly Billy. Oh, there we go, 81,497 miles. Oh, you found a problem? Yeah. What you found? That bush is gone, look. In that suspension arm? Yeah, totally okay. gone. So just, show, just show us now in Can there. Let me get my camera in there and have a look. Uh, show us again. Oh yeah, that bush is no good. It's sliding about on that bolt, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, MOT fail. Yep. Got some work to do. I've got an awful feeling we should be disappointed. Sod's law, isn't it? It is Sod's law. Law of Sod. So when I bought my silver A4 B5, which if you haven't seen the videos are on the channel, I rescued it for 500 quid. It came with a load of spares, and I mean a load of spares, almost 500 pounds worth of spares. The boot was full. And actually I bought the car as a donor car for this one. This isn't false jeopardy. I've been home and I've bought the box of, what would you class it as, suspension arms? Yes, mate. And suspension components that came with the car. Is there one in this box? We're about to find out. I haven't looked in the box genuinely. Excellent. Do you want to have a look? It's Sod's Law, is there's not going to be one, right? Yeah. Um, we looked in that box, what, a couple of years ago? It's the bent one. We Let's did. have a look. <sighs> what have we got? Well, it's not one of them. No. It's not one of them. No. It's not one of them. Or oh, is it? Uh, 
I think we're out of luck, aren't we? Ooh. Oh, spanner, nice. Bent. Is it? Upper front control arm left. Upper front control arm right. Could be then. No, it's the rear ones we want, isn't it? Ah. Uh, upper front, no, yeah. The... Upper front. Yeah, but there's two. Oh. Let's have a shifty scope. I reckon it is. <sighs> it is. No. Oh, look at that. Yeah, can't argue with that. Let's mate. just, I'm just going to get in there, hang on. Looks all right to me, son. Isn't it? That, that's, that is the right thing, isn't it? I think so, mate, yeah. What are the chances of that? That's a stroker look. Is it all right? It's, it's brand new, isn't it? Yeah, it's had that kit, isn't it? Yeah. Better that stick stuck on. Thank you, Mr. Fodden. Old one, which is at the back there. New yeah. one here in the box. Oh, and blow me. That's good news, isn't it? I'm, I'm surprised. Oh, we need a bit of luck sometime, don't you? We always need a bit of luck sometime, Johnny boy. Winner, winner. That's a stroke of luck, isn't it? Out of interest, so we know what's in that box. What else is in there? We've got one for this side as well. Upper front control arm left. That's the one at the front the side. I reckon, yeah. I'm nearly certain it's one of them that is used. The right hand one, upper front, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're saying it's is let's hope that that one's okay. <laughs> yeah. This is where we could be prematurely celebrating. Yeah, we've got a little win, haven't we? That one's all right, that one's all right. Oh, excellent news. So oh. the parts that we need, we've got. Yeah, let's have a look at this now. That one's on its way, but it's not gone. Well, there you go, son. There. That saved us some money. What have you found? You have a look down there. Oh. Oh, dear. Is that the CV boot? It is, yeah. Oh, do you know what? When I got it out and on the trailer, there was some plastic on the grass, and I thought, what's that? Oh. Well, that was premature celebration. Oh, my giddy aunt. Has it just eaten itself? Mmm, it's just rotted away, mate, isn't it? Ah. One CV boot, please. Oh. Big job? Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look then, how bad is it? It's... Uh, totally knackered. It is, yeah. Oh, dear. Um, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> This is, this is what was on the floor when we got it on the trailer this morning. It's just perished, hasn't oh, it? Yeah. Bums, 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 bums. Anyway, not to worry. It's only a job that needs doing. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, the good news is it's Bank Holiday Monday, so everywhere is closed. Is it a big job replacing that? I wouldn't say it's a big job, but... Uh... One you could have done without. Certainly could. So while we're prematurely looking at this front, what else can you see? Anything Break else? Brake seized up. Oh, really? CV boot shot. Why would that side have corroded worse than the other? Because somebody's been weeing on it in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you, Inspector. Okay, fine. Are we going to do that arm now while we're here, or are we going to do it when we do the CV boot? I'm going to do that brake and I'm going to do that arm while I've got this wheel off and I'm finished here then, isn't I? Good idea. And I'll do that lot in one go as well. I'll do this one while I'm at it. Okay. Um, so fitting this arm, is it an easy job? You're going to find out, aren't you? Let's see, shall we? Let's get some spanners. Oh, wow, what, me up? Oh, wow, look at this boot. Uh, what boot? It's gone. Well, there is, oh, it's just like putty. Oh, that's really no good. Look at that. 
great times. Right, let's do this arm then. Yeah, sure. See that there? Seized. See that bolt? Yeah. That's seized in there. It that is. is. That's seized in there, son. Unfortunately. Well, it is seized. It certainly is, mate. That bolt's seized in there. We'll have to have some uh, heat. Yeah, but it'll knack of that one. No. Not heat. Not yet. Is it really seized? Oh. Some knocking is going on. The long bridge hammer is out. Long bridge screwdriver. It's not seized in there. I know you're concentrating, yeah. yeah, and I know you're trying to work out how to get that off. Yeah. But for people that are amateur mechanics or a little bit of uh, yeah mechanicing that likes to do it DIY, yes, mate. What is one of the best ways of dealing with a seized bolt? Heat. Okay. If you haven't got the ability to put heat on it, patience. Can you see? I can. It's moving very slowly. So recently, when we did the um, the smart, you sort of give it a wiggle up and down, a back and forward, and that's to sort of break the corrosion off that thread. Is that right? Yeah. Now we're just going to keep keep wiggling it, keep wiggling it, and putting some of that in there. It'll wash the rust out. Worst case scenario, I'm guessing, is you break it and shear the bolt off. Is I don't it? want to shear the bolt. That's what I'm trying not to do. If someone has got a stuck bolt and they've sheared it off. The only sort of way to get that out is then by drilling it, is that right? You'd have to take it all to bits and put it yeah. on a okay. anvil and thrash it out. So patience is a virtue Patience, here. mate, that's what you need. And a big hammer. No, a big hammer's not what you need. A little hammer. That's a little hammer, that is. How's it looking? Could have been worse, eh? Could have been a lot, lot worse. And you've got to be careful when you're doing stuff like this that you obviously don't smack your wheel arch as well. Because if you smack it with your spanner, you're going to chip your paint and obviously then cause a rust patch. Oh, my knuckles there. What is the worst seized bolt you've ever had to remove? Can you remember? No. But you've had plenty in your life. Yeah. Can you see? Well, it's coming out now, isn't it? It's not coming out, it's turning round. And I'm keeping squirting some gel up on it. So you keep tightening up the nut. Yes. And then loosening it off again. Yeah. And giving it a whack. Yeah, and a, and a twist. And a... Is it moving? Yes, it's moved. Oh, excellent. It's moved with some whackage. Yes, baby. Ah, it moved, did it? Yeah. yeah. What are you just spraying on there aside from your GT85? I put some white spirit on there just to wash the rust out from the hole. Ah, oh, and it's moved, has it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it's come away from that uh, it has, that metal piece. Oh good. I had the uh, suggestion of jacking the yeah, just to take sort the of hub up a little bit. To take the Was that a good idea? Yeah. Oh, yeah, awesome. It might have been. I'm learning. It might have been a problem. <laughs> yeah, it might have bruised the end of that bolt up. So we'll have a look at that first. Nope, never looked too bad. Oh, yes, a bit. So copper hammer to avoid. Well, it don't it don't damage the thread. Metal. Let's face it, I'm hitting a hard metal with a soft metal, aren't it? So it just avoids damaging the end of the threads too much. It has marked them a bit, but a metal hammer would have bruised them over. Nice. That's better, isn't it? It's out. It certainly is, John boy. So now you'll... So that's the back one we're changing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Make sure we're taking the right one off. Yeah, I don't want to damage the wrong one. Well, I missed it on the film, but you literally just tapped the end of it with a sort of hammer and it popped out there, didn't it? Oh, excellent. And so I'm guessing there's just a bolt the other end. 
Yeah. Hang on a minute, that looks different. Let's hope it's not seen. Oh no. <laughs> I looked and thought, hang on a minute, that's different. Little did I realise there's a cap on the end. Yeah, we'll keep that on for now. Yes, but what a massive sausage. <laughs> How's that back one looking? Well, I'm pleased it wasn't seized. Oh, excellent. Well, I think we're going to be very lucky people. We're going to be very lucky? Yeah. Why? Because the bug has come to bits. No. You? So not only have we had the part in Aha, stock. Aha, here's something interesting. What's that? Oh. Have I checked, put a spring on here? Yes. Uh, yeah, we've had new springs on the front. So not only have we had the right part in stock, but it's come apart. The part has come apart. Go away up, baby. Ta -da. Oh dear. So we're not wasting us time. Um, are we? To quote the new catchphrase on the channel, we're not wasting our time. Okay. Are we? <laughs> and I did notice that that had been picked up on. Just compare it, make sure we haven't. So there's the old one, uh, totally knackered, and there's the new one. It looks the right thing. Ish. Ish. Um, yeah, I've got. I've got to say it. We're not wasting our time, are we? What would that? What symptoms would that have given me on the road? A knock? No, it'd be a squelchy noise. Squelchy, it? knocky, bleh noise. It's got le for left. Oh, let's see if that's got that on there. Mm, no, it's. Well, it has got le for left. It doesn't look like it's a genuine part. No? No, it looks like it's been replaced at some point. Nine, 1913. Is that, is that the year it was built? Um, yeah, look, it doesn't, doesn't look like a genuine Audi part to me. I don't, I don't know about you. I would have thought it would have had an Audi part number on it. Again, clever people on the internet will probably tell us. Yeah. But there's the... Uh, just hold that up towards the camera. Let's have a look at the, uh, when they hold it like in two hands. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey there. I'm here. Any old, mechan old time mechanics out there? I see we spend a lot of time doing this sort of thing in the old days. Cleaning up the... Yeah, cleaning bolts up. Bolts? Yeah. What are you using to clean up? Just some... Emery cloth. Emery cloth. Yeah. <laughs> in this day and age, you'd go to the parts department and, oh, I need a new bolt for that. The old fashioned way is you spent, the apprentice was, take them bolts, boy, and clean them up. So I should be doing it, really. Yeah, but you're tiddling with your tiddling machine. Well, I've got to pay for... Uh, Pay for the project somehow, and thankfully the great people of YouTube, by watching the videos, oh yes, uh, donate really without knowing. <laughs> YouTube revenue. What you, what you got there? Oh, hey, are you going to be using Tool of the Week, which is a thread file? Thread file, isn't it? Good. Well, there you go. It's a thread file. Well, we're getting to see the thread file in action. That looks a bit better. It certainly does, son, doesn't it, mate? That could have been a lot worse. Copper slips going on. Yeah. In goes the new arm. Hopefully. And you've slipped that in, that's gone in all right. So now to put the bolt back in, nut back on and tighten it up. That could have been a lot worse, couldn't it, that? Just need a bit of patience, really, else it's going to cause you a little world of pain. Copper slip on the bolt. So if we have to take it off again, hopefully it won't take us 20 minutes. Torque wrench settings, by the way. Top one, 50 plus 90. And the bottom one here, 40 newton meters. Job done. What do you reckon? How did that go? It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, easy peasy, wasn't it, really? Good job we had one of them in stock. That, in fact, it's that a was a stroke of luck. Christmas miracle. Sadly, I don't have any CV boots in stock, so I'm going to have to buy one of those. Um, good. That is time to do, because we're going to have to unseize yon side brake, so we'll unseize this one as well. Yep. And uh, 
Then we can call this side completed then. So hang on a minute, this side, the brake isn't seized, is it? No, but uh, we're going to mess about with the other side, so we need to mess about with this side, really. So best practice will be just to... Do both of them. Somewhere. Do both of them at the same time. Definitely. Um, so that's going to be take the pad carrier off? No, I don't, we'll see how, what it's like. When just we, see what it's like. Just goes to show you just need a little bit of patience. And, and a big hammer. <laughs> Right, let's have a look in here at this CV boot as well. Is it all right, well, That seems all right, that one, so that's Thank good Lord for news. That. Thank goodness. Um, shock absorber's fine, spring's all all right, and now we've got that new arm on there. There it is, you can see that well, it looks good. So brakes, we'll have a look at them. They're a bit, yeah, they're a bit sticky. So we'll get them eased off. The good news is the battery appears to be taking charge on board as well. So I'm fingers in front crossed, of sorry, the battery's no good. Couldn't absolute. you have waited three seconds for me to finish that shot? Right, what's next? Just do this brake some since we're going to be doing the other side. How are we going to do it? What's the plan? Take bits off. <laughs> Take bits off, ease bits off, put bits back on. That'll do, mate. <laughs> I'm guessing. Let's just do, undo these caliper bolts. We might just be able to pivot it up, maybe, but I don't want to do because of them wires. What are them wires? Are they uh, sort of dash warning wires for low? Looks like it's your ABS. Oh, ABS. I might be wrong. One's a pad warning, but I think there's an ABS one going around the front there somewhere. So normally you'd just sort of swing the bottom up, right? Yeah, but I just don't want to. Because that's not seized as such. It's not seized as such. Let's be gentle with these old cars. Well, there it comes. You know what you need to fetch me, don't you? Yes, I do. The piston... You, uh, the clip. Clip. Oh, oh the Z-clip. This space. Ah, Z-clips are us. Cheers, buddy. Just hold up. So the point of that is to... Just hang that caliper out of the way. Well, yeah, it's not hanging on the brake hose. If you was a rough ass, you'd hang it on the brake hose, but I'm not a rough ass, so. <laughs> not ever so. <laughs> so slides are okay, they seemed free. Oh, sorry, yes, mate, yeah, yeah. they're all right. They're all they? all right. So what are we going to be doing to ease them up? Not a lot. We're just going to clean all this crud out of there and put it back together. Sounds good. The pads look like they're relatively new. I think they are, aren't they? We've replaced the pads at some point. It hasn't done many miles so we're not going to be touching the pads uh you're going to take the carrier off are you i am soon yes are we taking the disc off as well yeah we'll just give the disc a clean up while we can while we can and we can uh... see the rabbit <laughs> someone's met a bitter end there oh that came off easy. Good. We'll clean that as well. May as well, matey. Out comes your vice for cleaning. That seems to have cleaned up nicely. It's all right, mate, isn't it? Are you going to be popping that into your electrolysis bucket? Not today, no. <laughs> Audis don't like electrolysis. Sometimes. What are you applying to the slides there? The usual old silicon grease, mate. Yep. Worth doing while we're here, isn't it? You just wire brush that with your angle grinder. Yeah, with your angle grinder. Yeah. Is that not going to damage that disc? Do it some good, I'd have thought. It's just wire, isn't it? It's just a wire brush. 
See there? There's your measurements and I can't read them so I don't know whether to check it for thickness. Back goes the disc. Back on goes the pad carrier. Make sure you copper slip your bolts. Back together it all goes. Pads are in there. Tighten that up. Job done. For the sake of 10 minutes, well worth doing. I have a funny feeling it might rain in a moment. Yeah, I think you're right, son. I've stomped my foot on the brake and it seems to be working fine, eh? Yes, mate. Pistons going in and out. Good news. Now, what's that coming over? Look at that. Excellent. Welcome to Lincolnshire. Should we bleed these brakes? No. No? No. Because the bleed dip will see solid. Oh dear. Uh, we just had some dinner and um, put the wheels back on the car. The sad reality is we can't actually do too much now for the rest of the day until we get that CV boot. I have ordered a CV boot off eBay. It's cost £16. It's a Feby Bilstein kit and it should hopefully be arriving in the next couple of days. What are you doing back there? Oh, hello. <laughs> I I'm just was, doing my bit for the environment. Yes, I thought you was cleaning up your Audi A4. Um, I'm doing my bit for the environment. This is a local garage for local people. <laughs> um, we've talked all the wheels up, apart from the driver's side, yes, because we've got that cap still off. Um, CV boot is the next job. Yeah. I'm guessing we can't do much more now. Until then. And we've seen how to do the CV boot. Yeah, you, as we saw in that clip, Dan's been watching Auto Dock. What have you learnt? How are we going to do the CV boot? Take that top off. Take the bottom off. Pull it out. Easy job? <laughs> that bolt comes out at the top. <laughs> um, apart from that CV boot then, and cleaning that driver's side brake off, any further things we need to do for the MOT? Don't think so, is there? No, looks good. Checked all the lights, checked yep. everything else, checked the fluids, checked the brakes. But at the moment, it is an MOT fail. <laughs> it's a miserable right, fail. Yeah, what did you think to replacing that arm? All right, wasn't it? Enjoy Easy it? Arm. Yeah, at least you've got one. <laughs> yeah, miraculously, we had one of them in stock. Good. I'm going to change some more bits. Not much more we can do today, is there? No. You can go home now and play with your animals. I'm going to go home and cut my lawn. I'm going to go home and entertain your mum. <laughs> Thanks for that. Excellent. Well, there it is then. A good couple of hours working on the A4 B5. And aside from that CV boot, which is at the moment an MOT fail, thankfully, we seem to be in good stead with nothing else wrong. I am confident, fingers crossed, that we'll get that part here and we will get it repaired before next Monday. Good job we gave ourselves a week because if I had taken it to the MOT station and had been confident without looking, then I would have failed my MOT and my MOT tester would have been disappointed in me for not noticing that and dad as well. 16 pounds, that's cost. Thankfully, we've had one of those control arms on there and that wasn't too much of a job to do. Next port of call for me is to give the car a good scrub because it does come up really nice and actually the interior is in really good condition. The car's going to stay here. The battery hopefully will um, come back to life. Hopefully I don't have to buy a new battery. That's my fault if I do because I have neglected it and I will slap myself on the wrist for um, not looking after that battery. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please, if you haven't already. If you haven't subscribed, by the way, or if you're new to the channel, and if you could consider subscribing, that would be awesome. It really helps tell other people that the content that we put out might be helpful and uh, interesting to others as well. Comment down below, what did you reckon? Did you reckon that there was going to be a major issue? 
or uh, do you think it would be okay? Next video then is going to be us replacing that CV boot, which hopefully should come in the next couple of days. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.